we can do it again? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Live in the Classroom. I'm Erica Fernandez with PCIC Communications, and today we're live at Clear Creek High School in Ms. Cardella's class. Ms. Cardella, what is this class today? So this is AP Capstone Research. It is a course um, designed by College Board, and it allows students the opportunity to become experts in their field. Um, so what that means is they actually go out and collect um, information and sources based on a topic of their particular interest. And then based on what they find, they design, they discover a gap and then design a research project to go out and explore and actually collect data and become an expert in that field and then present that to College Board. And so what are your students doing here today? So today they're actually working on um, a concept called hexagonal thinking. Um, it has been something that has been uh, in design across the district from several different teachers, um, my ELA coach. Um, and so this year we are putting it into implementation. And so they are looking at thinking of ideas ideas and concepts in a hexagonal understanding. So what that means is the hexagon has six different sides. And so it's a matter of them bringing together concepts and ideas in a unique way that makes sense to them. So the purpose of today is to get them to listen to their classmates, mm -hmm. to understand different perspectives, and to hopefully come to a consensus as to how that would look. A Captain Research class yes. on in here. All right, you guys, so um, a reminder, as of yesterday, we started looking at hexagonal thinking, all right? Um, the purpose is for you to collaborate with your classmates, which y'all did yesterday, you did a great job. We're going to take the same approach that we did yesterday, but we're gonna look at a different topic, and I'm upping the ante, and I'm giving you now 20 terms instead of just 10. And based on the conversation that we had yesterday on some of the things that you have and deal with in school, stress debunked is going to be our topic. Um, so remember, as you're collaborating with your, with your team, I want you to feel like your voice is heard. I want you to um, vocalize different perspectives. That is one of the most important parts of this. And then come to a consensus as to how you want um, the different terms to match up. And you can have different types of designs and styles. As we saw yesterday, you all had different shapes on your table. So. Here's what we're gonna do. Here are your terms for today. So again, um, the topic is stress debunked, all right? And um, we will follow this up with a live TED Talk later on, but I wanna get your thoughts and ideas on how you are going to partner these terms. So on your table, you're gonna see that you have your hexagon, similar to yesterday, all right? And you have these 20 terms all right, and or phrases. And what I want you to do as a team, you're gonna write one of those down on each of the hexagons, and then you're gonna work on manipulating them on your table, making connections, and talking about why and how those connections are significant, okay? Um, you'll write your terms on those hexagons. You might even consider grouping the terms similar to how you've done lenses in the past in seminar. You might add colors, or you might group them in a way that makes sense to your team, all right? You're going to create intentional formations among those hexagons, and what I mean by that is I want you to think about what are some connections based on similarities, what might be terms or ideas or concepts that are contradictions to each other, what might be a cause and effect relationship, um, and or anything that might step outside of the box um, that you can bring to the table. Do you guys have questions? Then you have the little arrows, and with those arrows, um, after you do your hexagonal thinking and get those terms mapped out, you're gonna choose two to three of those arrows to focus on specific relationships that you think are relevant in regards to this topic. So you would zero in on three points. Now, a little bit different from yesterday, after you get, I'm gonna give y'all about 10 minutes to work on framing your hexagons, and then I'm gonna have each table do a quick presentation as to your thinking. So you have your whiteboard in front of you, so if you wanna take notes or if you wanna have some bullet points, um, you may do so as you go. Any questions? All right, have fun. Here are your terms. Have you 
the ones from yesterday, are they different? So whatever ones, just do it on the back. Is, that's kind of funny that you did that one first, in a way. Yeah, I should have taken that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to debunk it, and we're going to frame it in a different way. We're, so we're going to make it boxer? Maybe. Yeah. Think about that. Debunking it. That's the topic. Mm, okay. Debunking stress. So, what could be a new thing? Healthy, healthy. I think it's good to have a challenging time. Means you're alive. Means you're alive. And then if, if y'all want to help with writing some of the terms, and then and then y'all can start to focus on circulating it. <laughs> Are you already starting to make relationships here? Oh, okay. Okay. Are you starting to make some connections already? What are you seeing so far? Uh, yeah. Can you make through yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> you can do that. Hey, but like it connects. What does? Uh, no, that's true. Oh, connection. I like that connection. Um, what would you do that with? <laughs> and remember, it doesn't have to just be similarities, it can be things that contradict each other as well. Oh, let me, yeah, here, let me put the um, relationships up. Can y'all still see those, Megan? Is that better? Hey, class, y'all remember, hey, Capstone, remember, it doesn't have to be similarities, right? Those connections that you're making, it can be contradiction, it can be cause and effect, or it could be how these concepts are talking to each other. So you can branch outside the box, okay? Don't feel confined. Um, resilience is, yeah, like whenever you're overcoming, it's like similar to perseverance. Like, no matter what, you keep getting knocked down, you're going to keep um, bouncing back. Yeah. The help. How are y'all doing over here? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Maybe oxytocin gives you anxiety. Do you know what that is? Do you know what oxytocin is? It's a drug. It's an, it's a, it's, it's a, an ingredient. No, it's, it's an ingredient oh, in the body that. It, yeah, so like after m moms give birth, their body like um, produces lots of oxytocin in order to overcome like that trauma. But it's a naturally produced in the in the human body. Oxytocin is a drug that is created, that's man-made created, that's supposed to create the same type of effect as oxytocin. But oxytocin is a natural man-made one. But you were kind of, you were right, Paige. It can kind of be a bad and good component. I'm glad that you, you caught on to that. So why did you put the 43% mortality with human connection? Um, <laughs> what were you thinking there? Well, right, doesn't it have to do with, like, babies dying? Especially, like, with people dying, like, people are at the person of risk for it. Okay, maybe with the loss of something, it helps to remem remind you to stay connected with yeah. others? Yeah. Like, or empathetic. Yeah. Yes, that's Caring good. Empathetic. Yes. Okay, I like that. And Stress is anxiety. 
causes anxiety. Now, can Energize be both negative and positive? I think, Because you originally had it over here with, like, anxiety, so I'm just, like, curious, can it be, could it be both if you're energized? Or do we associate it more like on a positive level and like stress and anxiety is more like, okay, all right, that's fair. Heart pounding goes with anxiety, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and it's also helpful because you need your heart to be alive. <laughs> How y'all doing over here? Ooh, I like the shape y'all are making. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> How are y'all doing? I'm come around here. Do y'all know what that is? Yeah, exactly. It's a happy hormone. It's <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a hormone um, that's created in the body like um, during times of stress, trauma, um, and it's a natural made um, hormone. And then Pitocin is the man-made version of it. So it's human connection with bars of Well, it doesn't really have to do with yours. Yeah. Well, helpful, and what is this? Healthy and support. So is this the body's natural way of creating that? Okay. What is what is the statistic? Like what's the just like fun like fun fact? <laughs> um. <laughs> well, stress. Oh, okay. So you're there. <laughs> I know it's super big and vague. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of it's connected with this idea of stress. If you don't have it, yes, that is one. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah. Or you can put we could connect pressure. Put a timer on. Connect pressure to like stress and anxiety because we have this like little loop right here as mm -hmm. far as burning out. Um, oh, okay. We have that as like a subgroup. But yeah, you can connect. I guess if this is the if that's the context of this, it does think you can connect it to this one. Maybe. Would did you think that that would go over here, or do you think it might go with more like one of those physical traits of like constricted of blood flow? Well. Or do you think that it might situate itself here better? Uh, it's just, you said the context of the specific okay. was like stress. Stress. Mm -hmm. or do, whenever you're stressed, do you go to your blood? Um, your blood vessels? They can. Yeah, they can. It's um, kind of perception. Mm. Perception and understanding of it. Mm. What, what are you saying? So we have harmful anxiety. I feel like yeah, it's probably stress. And then uh, so that's why it's being connected to so more kind of like the yeah. symptom of stress mm -hmm. and quote something. Or should we connect it more to like stress? Or I guess I don't know. Or if the stress is relieved through So that's kind of connected, huh? Okay. So it looks like most of y'all are, you've created that. So start thinking about those connections. Ladies and gentlemen, let's, real quick, um, start thinking about three specific connections that you feel are most valid and are important about this idea of debunking stress. And then start maybe taking some notes on your whiteboard and thinking about who might want to present. Um, I'm going to give you all about another Three minutes. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa. Nobody. Huh? You can either write on the arrow or you can write on um, the whiteboard, whichever. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, we kind of we kind of said that right here. Yeah. Because yeah. we we just talked about stress and how you need support for stress and if you support the stress, the pounding heart can go down. But through a pounding heart. Becomes stress and then it's support for pounding. Ooh, I like that. Good connections. So we really are live on Facebook. Oh, you're you you're a hot mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mic'd up.
they can hear you like the whole time? Yeah, they can hear you. I'm sure my parents are listening. Hi, Mom. Elizabeth's under pressure, and I'm really anxious. Can you tell me when to shut the fuck up? Did you say hi? Yeah, I bet you. I'm guaranteeing she's listening. I messaged all of Josh's classes. It's okay. Are you just trying to straighten them back out? Yeah, it's just because my mom Oh, do you want to bring it this way? In here. <laughs> Interesting. We had the same kind of like flow yesterday. Yeah, yeah, they had like two central. So that's interesting. So then you might kind of think about is that how your mind thinks about the concepts and ideas conceptually? Yeah, there's a very like split brain a little bit where we're like thinking about things and then like different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I think it's interesting that your arrows are kind of along the way, so you're kind of showing like that evolution of it as well, which is interesting. Yeah. Are we all connect from two one ten and one connection, or all of them? Um, I would say at least two. So target two, kind of depending on our time frame. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And then do y'all remember what your format of your hexagonal thinking looked like yesterday? Yeah, it was like a, it was was, like a flower. Yeah. Did it look, so it looked very different than this? So something interesting that like this team was noticing is their flow was the same. So then we started talking about conceptually thinking. Does that flow tend to happen? Like in general, is that how they're thinking about things from where it's starting to kind of how it evolves and then how might this contrast to how y'all did yours yesterday? So y'all kind of have like two main subgroups. Yeah, we got the, uh, no, we came that we kind of like bridged it with energize. So this right here is a contradiction. Interesting. Though. Energize is kind of like the, um, the opposite, the antithesis. Okay. So also anxiety can be a feeling, like extra. Right? And then, could, and then the question is, is could that stressful energy be transformed into something positive? Maybe. Remember, we're debunking stress. Because, my friends, you said you were stressed in school. Cardello's got a point. How are y'all doing? Um, All right. Now, how did y'all decide, like, on your style and design here? Okay. Oh, like little subgroups? Yeah. And I stepped up. So sometimes, as leaders, you got to do the thing. 